Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Real Talk Podcast. And I am your host, Mr. Aaron Gibbons. Uh, I want to welcome you into what should be an exceptionally great show. I want to thank all of our viewers who have been tuning in since January when we kicked off. Thank you for all of your comments, your replies, uh, staying in tune with all of the great um, uh, guests that we've had on the show. And tonight is no different. We have another great host, another great uh, guest on the show, and I'm sure it's going to bring all of you uh, some great insights, some great um, notifications to what's going on in our city. Uh, she's a very uh, exclusive and, and powerful woman. I'm just happy to say that I know her. But before we get to that, let's do what we always do, right? Let's talk about what this show vision is. The vision to this show is to provide a platform with helpful hints and successful strategies to overcome some of life's most difficult situations. This is a safe space for everyone with real people where real problems get real solutions from relationships to religion and even finances get covered. And guess what? No matter what the conversation is, we got you covered. So tonight, I don't want to hold up a long period of time. We have Miss Renee Edwards coming on board, and I am excited to have this conversation. Miss Edwards, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Man, I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. I can't complain. I'm thankful for your time. I'm thankful for you uh, taking the time out to jump on the show tonight. Um, but my my first question tonight is, and, and, and I know that you're excited. I know that you're excited. I just want you to introduce yourself to our um, viewers. Let them know who you are, and then we're going to dive in from there. Tell us gotcha. a little bit about who is Miss Edwards. Okay, so I'm Renee Edwards. I'm the founder of the Saturday Morning Shop. I'm the founder of the Skin Candy All Natural Skincare Line. I'm the president of First Class Adventures and KB Dollhouse, which my daughter owns those companies. And we have a whole bunch of other different things. Right now, I'm sitting inside the call center that I just started for the Saturday morning shop. So the call center, okay. The Saturday okay. morning shop now has a call center. So doing job creation, you know, just doing the best we can. I got you. Now, do me a favor. Hold your hands up. To have all that going on, you got to have some big hands. Because you got a lot. You got a lot of stuff in your hands. There got to be yes, some big yes, hands. Yes. <laughs> yes, Tupac yes, yes. said that my every move is a calculated step. You know. Come on, come on. Now, yes, he did. That was a great lyricist, and he did say that. And yes. and I'm 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 elated to say that I um have followed you and seen some of the success. So take us down uh, um before it got popping. Tell us how you came up with the idea about the Saturday morning shop. Well, what happened was I was in the midst of trying to take my products to be vendors at some of the different markets, I'll say. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after like multiple people saying, no, 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 uh, denying my products, stuff of that nature, I said, you know what, I'm going to start my own. Mm -hmm. So I first I reached out to try to do it on 49th Street. And like 17th Avenue South, they got a huge lot over there and nothing's there. Mm -hmm. But Gulfport gave me a bunch of problems about dwelling and it's not in habitat and all this stuff. So got then you. I reached out to another friend who has a spot on 34th Street. Okay. He and I couldn't come to terms on a financial amount. So got that you. didn't work. So I was at my daughter's boutique and I was talking to Louis Stevens. And Louis mm. said, Let's go look at the church. I'll call Pastor Sykes. Mm. Pastor Sykes said, give the youth department a donation and we can do it here. Wow. Started the first one, April 3rd, 2021. And wow. after two months, I partnered with the Rays and moved to the trop for more space, parking, et cetera. And the rest is history. Now we're in five cities. Wow. Five cities. Five, five cities. cities. So, mm -hmm. so let, let's encourage somebody right there. You may not get the uh, uh, okay the first time. Mm -hmm. You might not get the okay the second time. But if you continue to try and try again, and, and this is what it's about, stepping out on faith, you had the faith that no matter how it went, you knew you yes. had something that was going to help the community. And that's a beautiful yes. thing. That's a beautiful thing. I don't thing. do well with no. Right, right, right. So who, think, who really does? Who really yeah, does do well with I rejection? At the end of the day, that's what fuels me. If you tell me no, now I get antsy. 
to get mm-hmm. my yes. You know, right, now right. I'm not sleeping because I'm trying to find a solution. Gotcha. And I do research. Well, I did research before I quit work for a living. So, I mean, that's what we do. Find the answer. That's it. That's it. And, and and I'm 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 eager to get into you say you had skincare. So now in this skincare, so you, so initially before it even became like the Saturday morning pop-up shop, it was you trying to get the skincare on the map. So now yes. that the pop-up shop is popping and you're in five cities, how is the skincare business? Have you kind of it's in 15 stores? Oh wow, wow, look at that, look at that. Which 15 stores your introduction. Because mm-hmm. now I'm not the CEO of Skin Candy when I go in there. Oh, you're that lady that's at the Tropicana Field. I saw mm. you on the news now. Yep, that's mm. me. Mm. So gotcha, the introduction gotcha. is different. So gotcha. the, the community support is different. The people that you now shake hands with have a different, different. respect for you. Right, 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 right. So let me ask you this. Now that you have the, the skincare in 15 different stores, mm-hmm. you have the pop-up shop. What's what's kind of what's kind of oh, I hear the call center, you're in the call center. I'm clearly. in the call center now. So that's the that's the main goal is to continue to push for the um to pop-up shop to go from what five cities to 10 cities to, to 20 the cities. Pop-up shop, uh, well, the marketplace will be franchised. Okay. So it's twenty five thousand to buy in on the franchise to take the Saturday morning shop to your own city. You Mm. get ninety days of training with me. Mm. I can guarantee that you'll get the twenty five thousand back within three months plus more. And the goal is to get that into forty cities, and that'll be a million dollars. Wow, woman with a plan, stepping out on faith. Wow, wow. I mean, amazing. That's the crazy part because. You know, they say you only need faith of a mustard seed. That's all you need. That's all you need. So and you, cl- you clearly have it. And I don't believe in people sometimes. I mean, I'm human just like anyone else. Anyone else. Correct. But the community, um, and she's going to kill me because she hates that I give her credit. But Deborah Fig Sanders, my city councilwoman, is the mm-hmm. one who made all of the connections behind the scenes happen. Because wow. Brian Alt with the Rays would never talk to Renee. Mm. He can't. When you get in certain circles, certain people don't get into those circles. Right, right. Without an introduction. Right, right, right. So you need to know somebody. Is. Exactly. So yes. she made that happen and the contract, beautiful contract. Mm-hmm. So I'm there till 2027. Wow, wow. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let's 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 dig a little bit into Miss Renee Edwards. Gotcha. We see we see the successful and we're hearing the success. So what's driving behind this success? Like what made you uh, 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 clearly you said you're no longer working for a regular nine to five. Yeah. What steered that idea? What steered that motor to go from away from the nine to five and become a full time entrepreneur, which is not easy, by the way. What happened was I was at my job every day. And I was mm-hmm. doing 30% their work, 70% market. Mm. So it's like, I'm sitting and I'm like, how long am I going to do this? Where every day I'm behind at work mm. and I'm constantly taking market calls, taking market calls. Hi, thank you for, you know, and trying to do stuff on the computer. It just wasn't working. So that's where the uh, New York Times wrote the article on me. Because I took out a stipend from my 401k mm-hmm. and stepped out on faith. And God it worked. answered. It worked. And God he answered. Said, Go ahead. He said, do it. I was scared. Um, actually, I missed work because I didn't have a job. I had a career and I love what I do. So I miss my patients. I'm still in contact with staff. The IT guy that supports the Saturday morning shop comes from Ross Camp Institute. Wow. Wow. So wow. He saw my vision every day working with me. So wow. I don't have to tell him what to do for my website and text messages and emails. He knows the vision. He was there with me every day. Wow. 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 Do it scared. One of our, our viewers said, do it scared. 
You yeah, have you have to, you have to because you, you gotta be to. comfortable with being uncomfortable. Uh, uh, you have to be. You have to become comfortable being uncomfortable. And 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 your 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 story is so uh, um. What's the word I want to use? So fitting for such a time as this, because there's so many people that I come across. They have great talent. But the talent is masked because they're working a nine to five to take care of the family. They're trying to go about it the way that our parents did and mm -hmm. retire from the company, work with one job for 45 years, take your 401k and, and, and you, you, you had the hat and, you know, you, you wore the job, you, you yeah. did it well. That worked for them. But for yeah. some of for some of us, God gave you something different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gave you a different skill set. He gave you a different challenge. And, and I'm listening to you as you did it scared. You tapped into a realm that not a lot of people tap into because of the fear. So how yeah. did you face your fear to just jump off that cliff? How did you do it? What was your what was your process? My process was I sat there, went over my finances first because I'm a single mom of three children. Well, okay. 26, 24, 21 are their ages. So I wouldn't say children per se. But no, watch somebody, watch somebody gonna play that on the lot of 20. What'd you say? 26, 26, 21. 24, and 21. Those <laughs> <laughs> you let it roll off so easy, it sounds like, so, yeah, you know, you saying, know, that's your cash so, three for the day. It, yeah, and some people think, okay, well, her kids grown, but they still need stuff. Like my daughter owns first class adventures, so if she don't feel good, I gotta drive. Wow, so you know, and my sons, if they need stuff, it, it's still they're your kids. You still, yeah, right. Exactly. So the way I did it was I just sat there one day and I just like, I'm going to resign today. And mm. it was because of a issue that arose at work that I wasn't comfortable with. And I'm like, do you deal with this or do you just chunk the deuces? And I resigned. Mm. And mm. I was like, Whoo. what am I doing? You on autopilot. And I didn't resign properly. I didn't do everything right because once I stopped working, I had nothing to do. Where do I mm. go? Mm. Like, so I'm eating out every day. I'm mingling with friends. And then my friends going to work, they're like, oh, we got to go. We got to go to work. I'm like, I ain't got to know where to go. I'm right. sleeping late, like staying in. And because all the stuff I do for the market can be Zoom and pay online and stuff of that nature. So I had a couple appointments and meetings, but nothing too crazy. And right. when I have to go to Atlanta, you know, for those type of events and stuff, but in Miami, but that's still not a lot of time. So I had nothing to do. So that's when the mind takes place. Absolutely. So that's why me and my brother looking into a yacht business right now. That's why I'm working on my son's jet ski business and other stuff because I have nothing to do. Got you. And, and that's and I think that that's what bothers most people who get into entrepreneurship. They they anticipate that their idea is so brilliant and they've thought it out for the most part, but they don't calculate for the times that the business gets stale, that it comes to what we talked about last night in, in Bible study was a dry season. Get into a point where the clientele is not there and the money's not flowing in. What do you do? That's when the faith is really challenged. That's when the belief in God is really there. God, did you yeah. really tell me to do this? Are you really allowing me to step this way and walk this way and go this direction? And the answer is always yes. You know what I'm saying? He wants to know how bad do you really want it? He wants to see how faithful that are you really going to be doing this process and i'm loving the fact that hearing you not just one business not just one entrepreneur in the family but it sounds like you're making this a now a legacy for your family which is which is commendable because yeah. that's something that they can never get they can never get they can never fire themselves unless they don't do the work my daughter has never worked a job in wow. her teens yes but she started first class adventures at 19 Mm, so she didn't do that long. Wow. And she's 24 now. So she worked at maybe Dillard's or something, you know, 15, Win Dixie, stuff like that. Gotcha. But like an adult, 40 hour, never. Wow. Wow. No Look reason. at God. Look at God. Look at God. Mm -hmm. I commend you for what you're teaching and how you're spreading it. But now let's dig a little deeper. 
Okay. You you got your hands busy. You get you got a lot going on. Yes. How is that impacting your love life? Where's the balance? That's what I'm working for. Uh, work life balance. I really don't have one. Um, I date here and there, there and here. Um, but my last couple didn't work because I'm so busy and because I expect my mate to spend every weekend at a market putting up tents and <laughs> go get nice and, you know, right. folding up chairs and helping this lady get a sweet potato pies out the car and stuff like that. So you're an entrepreneur. They're not. Yeah. And yeah. I can't expect everybody to give up every Saturday to roll around the state with me or be in Georgia, every, stuff like that. So right now it's just me and the Chihuahua. Understandable. Understandable. So here's my experience with that. And, and, okay. and, and I, and, and I'll, and I'll say, say this for the, for the lack of words, it requires a balance from you first before the balance from them comes. Because I've struggled with that exact same thing um, with being an entrepreneur myself, mm -hmm. finding that balance. Because for you, you know what you got to do to get the numbers to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. Financially, you got to you, you. We don't as entrepreneurs, we don't have the same clock that they that other people have. Yeah. They work yeah. Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a half little a overtime, day on Friday, half a day on Friday. <laughs> we don't know nothing about that. Entrepreneur. When the clients are calling, you talking to them because you know you need them to lock in. You need the deposits. You need the payments. So yes. your your some of that time, those calls are coming in while you're in the middle of dinner, while you're in the middle of, of relax time. But you know, as the owner, I need to take this call because I need to lock this in. And mm -hmm. it's not to be rude or disrespectful to the mate. It's just the fact of my business ha has to be on so that my business can stay flourishing. And it's so hard to get a brother to understand that. They'll say they understand in the beginning, but two months into it, they taking your phone. We going out there. <laughs> maybe like, maybe you done heard this one. You ain't that busy. <laughs> Listen, or and then, how you forgot? You planned it. How you forgot? Hey, it happened. Like, let me call it, my assistant and check it, my calendar. Come on, what? You got to put the date on the calendar. Uh, you got you got to put it on the calendar. If them if them alerts don't be on the phone, I will forget. So I understand. I understand. I and understand. now I'm so smooth. If I go on a date with a person, I'm just having the chef come to the house. I ain't going oh, nowhere. Because wow. oh, I don't wow. want to be out talking, hugging people. Now I'm not paying attention to my date because I see Aaron at the movies and he want to catch up with me right quick. Right, right, <laughs> right. It, it's it's and, and it's and 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 I, and I get that and, and we were talking about the backstage. You're not. It's it's not that you're famous. Famous. You're in your city, and people pay attention to what goes on in this city. Yeah, so is. so you so in this city, when somebody sees Miss Edwards, they listen. Hey, listen. She's making an impact, mm -hmm. or he's making an impact. And I want to be able to say that I've seen you. I, I want to take a picture with you. I want to hold your hand. I want, I want, and if, and, and I honestly saw this from Pastor Keon um, page today. He said, if people is what helped build your platform, how can you not like people? And that's another thing. Somebody may see me at Publix and my sister sell cups and I want her to call you. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to say. You got to say, give me, her, give me her number. Give me her number. Because ultimately what, what you had, and, and I and I totally get it. Ultimately what you have in your in the top tip of your mind is how many times you heard no when you were trying to get started. And I'm going to talk to her about the cups and I'm a talker. So that five minute conversation might turn into 20 minutes. That's why my kids will not go anywhere with me. <laughs> <laughs> Do not take me to kissing cousins because it's like a welcome committee when I walk through there. So it's like, what do you do? So then your date standing behind you, like, yeah, 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 and and that's and that's challenging. That's challenging. So I'm, I'm especially if you're dating a private person. Mm, Ain't you nothing said, private about Renee. You said a mouthful. 
You said a mouthful. There's no Pri private person with a public figure. That's that's Negative. a whole nother. That's a <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole that's a whole nother show in itself that's a whole nother show because you 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 have to understand they and, and i'm gonna say this for me I, I can't speak for you sometimes i get tired of the attention so, sometimes i just want to be me i just want to chill now and see, you got i'm gonna still do that even but i have my watering holes where i go to where well, you can relax a little bit i got you I, think, I got you because I don't cook anymore because my kids are adults, so I got to eat. Mm -hmm. So pretty much every night I'm at Toriano's, eat and have a drink or whatever. I go home. Well, that can't be a watering hole. Now you just made it public. Well, you know, <laughs> we, we still keep a small, intimate crowd of adults. Okay. Okay, okay. Like, I got you. I don't want to be anywhere where nobody calling me Miss Renee because they know my kids or stuff like that. So where I go, right. it's like a black cheers. Will everybody okay. know your name when I gotcha. walk in? Hey, Renee, Renee, you getting your regular, whatever, whatever. So right, mm -hmm. that's what I do every day, pretty much after I close up and we get out of here. Gotcha. But I try not to be out, I try not to be on the scene much. But I love it when people talk about the market. Look at she her talking about everybody coming out. Crap, <laughs> perhaps we'll be at Toriano on Tuesday, Missy. That's it. And and that's that's the winner right there, Miss Miss uh Miss Jackson. That's the winner of the race tickets from the um other show. Um so make I sure gotta that you gotta send them to her. I have them, or if she wanna stop by the office and pick them up, um, she can hit me up. I have them tickets ready. Um, I was looking for some extra good ones, so I'm waiting on uh Stefan with the raise to send me my allotment for next month. I because sometimes they give me like seven or eight real good ones. Gotcha, gotcha. Like really nice seats. For sure, so, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Most definitely. So you you take in that, you take you find a way to have your me time. You find a way to have your settled chill time. You find a way yes. to have the vibe and and and, and go home. Now yeah. for you traveling, the going to the different shops and the business and the business. And this is this is always my concern because I work on this. Health wise, okay. what is your health like? My health is decent. Um, I have hypertension, of course, you know. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. but I'm working on my eating habits. Got I to eat a lot in airports. I eat a lot of fast food. My Uber Eats is probably at 1500 a month. <laughs> um, no way, no yeah, way. It, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, it was just 26 bucks this morning, you know. So it's it's um but I pick better choices now, like Dirty you. Taco, Fresh Kitchen. Um, I'll get Dunkin' Donuts. I don't get sugar in my coffee anymore. I try to pick better choices. Like last you. night, I had a grilled shrimp salad at Toriano's. Okay. Normally, I got turkey wings, macaroni and cheese, stuff like that. So I'm just picking better choices because I have gained a few pounds since I quit working. I got you. I got because you. I'm not active. Right, right, right. And and that's what I noticed with a lot of entrepreneurs is that if you don't consciously work out, consciously add the 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 eating right, you're going to gain weight. You're going to be, you know, for lack of better words, you're going to get unhealthy. And that's yeah. not good because you 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 already don't have a great sleeping habit because yeah. most of the time you 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 you're up late, up early. And people okay. be, and, and and my the favorite question that a lot of people ask me is yeah. when do you sleep? When do you sleep? Um, yeah, I sleep when I'm supposed to sleep. When when the business is settled and I can clock off and I can stop dealing with this kind of stuff and then go from there. So and I then understand. Vendors don't have a sense of time. My Instagram will be popping up at eleven thirty. I'm like, because but that's I, when they're on and they exactly make you a flyer. exactly exactly. And if and, I and, come up, I'm gonna respond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that too can 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 add to the woes of the relationship side because yeah. you're hearing the notifications going off, but you don't realize it's really just business. It's not yeah. personal. It's just business. Everybody, and and this is the one thing I dislike about social media. Social media doesn't have a operating hours it because. What when I'm on social media, that's that's my time to be on it. 
and that I might think- not that might not be uh, uh, suitable to the person that I'm now seeing their feed. I'm now seeing their their post. I'm now seeing their their question. I'm now seeing their request. You know, so if yeah. I respond to it at nine p.m., mm-hmm. I don't know where that person is. I don't know what they're doing. And vice versa. They don't know what I'm doing. They don't know where I'm at. They don't know where, you know, they don't know it's date night. They don't know that. All and they know the is date Right. We we can't cut it off. And like right now, I'm doing your call after five. You are. Yeah. It's business. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so if I had something going on or if I'm late to somewhere, it's business. Understanding and patience or if I is gotta required. Come home and this is what I'm doing. It's business. Yeah, yeah. And and I mean, let, let let's be fair. At some degree, we must turn these these things off, so never. that we never. You never turn them off. For what? Huh? For what? No, you got to turn them off at some point because you still need you. You still need you. Still deserve I got three adult kids. Uh-huh. Ain't nothing getting shut off. Mm. What if one of my kids in the situation and they need? No, 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 no. I don't mean power down off. I mean off to the degree of you take your focus off of that for a few and you put your focus on you and and the mate or the relationship. Bing. (laughs) It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. Ain't what one notification up here. I don't even play. I get it. I get it. Only Ms. Thomas. Because Ms. Thomas say if you have a business, it never stop. It never stop. And if you stop, who knows what opportunity you just you missed. missed. Mm-hmm. My market yep. just reached its first year. Mm-hmm. When I get to five, six years, I might take a Saturday off. I might and, put the phone up for a Sunday. Or and and, and what comes with that, and here's what I was, I was just about to say, what comes with that is you you are in the still in the baby stages of this of this business. Mm-hmm. So as it matures, so will you. Yeah, and as see, it we matures, have an assistant, but I mm-hmm. share my assistant with my daughter and my brother. Gotcha. So until Saturday morning shop has its own assistant that could take my stuff and you know deal with it, that's different. But I right. quit work to be my own assistant and to do right. my own. Right, right. So you, 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 your own admin team, you, your own everything, your own payroll. You do the whole thing. I understand it. I get it. I yeah. get it. I, I trust me. I and understand. That was it. the way I could basically. I was like, do I pay somebody, and then it take me six months to train them, mm. and then I might not be the right person, and now they got Saturday morning shop credit cards and accesses, and or do I just quit and do it? Mm. There's only one thing I wish that I would have done, and that's registered for Cobra Insurance. Mm. It's the only thing I wish I would have done differently because the insurance game out here for entrepreneurs is whack. Mm -hmm. Definitely is that. Very expensive and not not, not that beneficial. For people like us, about 70, 80 of us to come together and get a large policy for life insurance, health insurance, and everything that we may need to be next level, which would also include uh, long-term and short-term disability and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. Because most of our entrepreneurs, we saw this during the pandemic, they can't afford a $10,000 emergency. Cannot. Business wiped out. Most of them, you 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 will crumble. Most will fall after that. So if you and I broke our arm or leg, what are we supposed to do? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I'm working on a Black Alliance right now with my guy friend, Julian Riley and mm-hmm. Toriano Parker to get like 80 of us. Mr. Julian, that's a good friend of mine friend. as well. Mr. Julian, great guy. Yeah, yeah. Great guy. he and I trying to get that together so we can get a good premium and everybody can have the benefits that is required and not Medicaid and all the stuff that absolutely don't pay what you need. Absolutely. And shout out to Lewis Stevens as well. Another good guy. Uh, yeah, you that's mentioned, my dude mentioned him. Right there. Although oh, yeah. he favors my daughter more than me, he, I, <laughs> he likes her hey, more than me. 
Listen, I don't know him to be a favorable guy. He, he's pretty much a people person, in my opinion. Um, she's always the favorite. She's always the favorite. Mm -hmm. and that might just be the difference in the age, though. You, you think so? Could be. Could, Could be. be. Yeah. Could be. So, listen, I want you to give five tips to a woman or a man who are starting their own business and right now they're sitting at somebody else's job and they're trying to figure out they got this great idea they don't know how to do it give them five tips that would help them first tip check your finances okay at least have three months of bill money put up outside of what you need to operate the company good stuff two do your research some cities may not be, you know, your city to do your dream. So if St. Pete ain't it and you got to move to Houston to start you a turkey hut, be my guest. Mm, great tip. Three, if you know any influencer or anyone that has any type of celebrity type of status that you may know or one of your friends may know, Link up with them and see what it costs to get you some free promo because that can possibly save you thousands and thousands of dollars getting yourself out there mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can probably pay them and they can jump hurdles that you can't. Four, find out your legalities. If you need a paralegal because most of you guys can't afford an attorney, um, go through your city find out like if you're trying to sell margaritas on the street corner what's the laws mm -hmm. and don't go by what johnny said two years ago go see what it is for yourself mm -hmm. know the legal components of what you can and can't do with right. your business if you know you want to sell margarita with five percent alcohol do you got a liquor license mm, good stuff good stuff what's required can What's you sell required? it on Twenty Second Street? Mm. Can you sell it within five hundred feet from the new, closest liquor store? All that type of stuff. Research that stuff. And number five, have some sort of support. I don't know if that's your grandma, auntie, cousin, sister, friend. If it's your church, if it's your bishop, have somebody that has some sort of business knowledge as your support. Make them your mentor if they're willing. My mentor is Dr. Cynthia Johnson. Okay. You know what I mean? Taisha Scantling is one of my mentors. Um, I get a lot of help from city officials, but I'm okay with asking the question. Mm -hmm. But you got to know what you're trying to get into. And if they open that door, you got to work 10 times harder once they open that door and people don't put their name on you. Mm-hmm. As soon as I got with St. Pete, okay, add more cities. Let's go. I knew my plan. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Erica. And but it, it's it's the truth. You don't jump out there with a thousand dollars if you ain't got the money it takes to at least give it keep it going. Of you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't jump out there with an income tax and quit your job and you don't know how we're gonna pay the rent in May. That's it. So that's the type of stuff you got to figure out. And if you need to work two, three jobs to build your reserve, do that. Because I promise you the reward of when you don't got to work and when you can log on to your account and take a good sigh, that feeling is, I mean, you feel better than anything in the world. When you can buy something and you don't have to think about how you're going to make the other bills because you just paid this. I mean, that financial stress off of your plate while you're focusing on building the brand is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Yvonne. My thing is I try to make sure that I can cover me and my daughter in the event of an emergency. So my reserve is going to be here as opposed to hers. Mm -hmm. But now she's in a contest with me working on the reserves. Gotcha. Gotcha. It makes sense. And, and, you, and, and, and I saw something and, and I meant to upload that um, um, to be able to share. It said the next generation 
if they're taught right, at eight years old will know the importance of starting an LLC. And when I read that, I was like, wow, that's 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 what we should be teaching. Because but I'll say this. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't business. Everybody's not business. Everybody's not business. And, so and, I, and I totally agree with that. It too, because right. like my oldest son, he had a security at a hotel. Mm -hmm. He loved what he do. Mm -hmm. My baby son just got hired on at Pepsi. He loved what he do. My baby son was working with me. He quit. He like, mm -hmm. man, I ain't doing that with you. This is boring. He, it wasn't his thing. I can't expect right. him to be. But once he's ready to start his thing, I'll be able to help him. You'll be able to help him. You got the format. You got the blueprint to be able to do so. And here's mm -hmm. what here's where I was going with that. The mindset of what it took for us to learn as what was necessary for entrepreneurs, if they have that option, just like they have college, just like they have sports, just like they have uh, 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 so many other avenues in which they yes. can go. If you're teaching that early and say, listen, you can finish school and become an entrepreneur and we're going to show you how. If they're yeah. teaching that from elementary and middle and high school, do you know the amount of success that we're bringing to our community? Because we're now teaching something that is a life lesson that some of us, like we're in our 40s, learning this late. Do you know what we need right now in our city more than anything in the world? Talk to me. We need a marketing company that's African-American mm -hmm. that has real results. Mm. So I'm going to say like the Will Packers. Okay. Come back and get some of us. All you mm -hmm. got to do is just if 10 celebrities posted a small business once mm. a day for 30 days, mm. they going to cost them a dime. Mm. Mm. Will Packers. I see where you're going. I see some of us. Just post I see them. where you're going. I see where you're going. And and, and I think the, the, the exposure from that level and and i can't speak for them but i've I often wondered i've um, i've often said this and if you go back to any of my posts from 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 years support costs you nothing nothing it costs you nothing to hit the share button and i don't understand and this I'm is how sure I, they got somebody who can post a flyer or post mm -hmm. a link mm -hmm. on some of these small businesses Right, it's right. In your hometown. So if some of the people reach back to their hometown, and yeah. even if you charge them a fee, you don't need the money, but you can. But just tag them. Right. Just if Will Packer put some of our businesses from St. Pete in the credits at the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Say my schoolmate lit. Who would have thought? <laughs> we came from nothing. Yep. And that's the thing. If you can go and my goal is if I build a large enough platform, they're probably going to shut me down from sharing small businesses because I want to see all y'all make a $5,000 night. Mm -hmm. LL Cool J, P. did it. All they, they do it for their friends. They do. They do. And, and, and I think that that's where the realness in you still plays a part in no matter how successful you get. You got to keep a part of you. And, and I'm going to be honest. That's why I have remained independent with my music. I have I have had my opportunity to to be signed to, to labels and I won't take it simply because I love the fact that I can get in the lab anytime I want to say what mm -hmm. I want to say on my music. And, and I'm and not you ain't gonna lose you in the process. I'm not gonna lose me. The contractor doing something yep. that makes absolutely yep. no sense. And then I have to say what they want me to say when they want me to say it. And I'm not. I'm. You're, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. We're not. The I'm puppet. not. I'm. We're not the puppet. I'm. I'm not the puppet type. I just don't work like that. You know what I mean? I agree. And, and I'm telling you, so the support factor costs them costs any of us, and it's not just the celebrities. If you if you're watching this show, you watch the replay of this show, and your friend has a business, tag go them. click, go tag them, flip them, hit the share button for them every day next week. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? You you might not have. 
fifty dollars to buy the skincare. I don't know how much your skincare costs, but I'm just gonna say yeah. fifty dollars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You might not have it, but you know what you do have? You have a platform that you can put in your stories and say, "Hey, listen, I seen this young lady on a podcast. I seen this young man. I seen this. I seen that." And you share it in your yeah. stories. And if yeah. anybody asks you, then you forward them the information to the person to get the answer to questions. Simple. It's not going to cost you anything because you know yeah. what we'll share? We'll share a fight. And I know I'm going to get in trouble for this one. We'll share some, some nudity. We'll share yeah. some, some, some scheming and some scamming foolishness. But we won't share hardworking people trying to make a life for their family. That's right. And that's the thing that if we had the support of just our local community, mm -hmm. like I got 5,000 friends. So what are 5,000 people when it's time for me to do the market? Yeah, it is. And a lot of that, a lot of that is because of how Facebook is generated. And some people don't understand if you Those don't algorithms. actually the algorithms, you mm -hmm. might not see a person's actual stuff. Yeah. But if you know for a fact, you, you know me, if you haven't seen a post from me in three weeks, you know, good and well that I'm posting in, 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 in the course of three and they weeks. just unchanged it. That they just unchanged I, the algorithm. Go to my page, to get a see, marketing team in our city. Right. That people like you and myself can work with that has proven results. Mm -hmm. Don't come trying to get my money as your test run. Right. But if you got proven results, all of us who got small businesses can all plug together and make each other really, really powerful. Yeah. And and that's and that's it's not. And it's not. And that's one of the key things for me with this podcast is that I want to support people like you, Miss Edwards. I want to support people yeah. like myself. They're trying to think. Come on. We trying to figure it out. And we trying to not just help, not just help any and everybody. We trying to push those that are actually doing something in the community. One thing yeah. you've said, one thing you have said to me, every conversation, you've always ended every conversation with. If you need anything, just holler at me. That's right. That's my line. That's my line. You said it in every conversation. Because resources don't cost a dime. You may ask me, I want to meet so-and-so. If I know how to do it, it's just that simple. Absolutely. Why would I be like, I ain't telling, I ain't taking him. Yeah. I've had two people ask me to meet the raised president. That's the only thing I cannot do. Mm -hmm. I can't put you with them people i just can't that guy's like super super busy in 50 different cities all over the place but let, that, that's not the reason why you can't let, let me let me let me let me share the little the sprinkle this on you real quick you can't put people in that room because god put you in the room that some sometimes we too busy trying to put people in rooms oh my god don't preach gibbs we too busy putting people in rooms that they're not intended for because they if you open up that for. you open up that room for the wrong person and it's going to close the room for you because you that's not it. they wasn't meant to be in the room god opened up that door for you to shed a light for you and sometimes i get it even in the reaching back sometimes you can only reach so far back because that's some it. people ain't in the mindset where you are yeah. And that's even with vendors. That's the reason I started the Vendor Academy to educate some vendors. You know, mm -hmm. like they'll say, Renee, I ain't make no money. Well, question number one, do you have a diverse product? If you got the black pick with the afro on it, 70% of the people who shop sat in morning shop St. Pete is Caucasian. They might don't want that diversity so diversity how's your setup how's your presentation when they walking by are you on the phone not even looking mm -hmm. are you greeting every customer so that's the reason for the vendor academy also we've started the saturday morning shop to home home ownership program mm -hmm. i've seen so many people get railroaded in the sub uh sub prime lending and all that kind of stuff over the years i've seen people not knowing everything they need to know when they buy a house. So I've partnered with Raymond James Bank, Suncoast Housing Association, and Franklin Realty so we can educate the people and get them on the steps to get a house. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. if you're still renting in the next two, three years, you ain't in St. Pete. 
listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, it's real. <laughs> Owning a moving company, I seen this years ago. They were starting to buy the houses, and I'm like, bro, they moving. We taking them from the the Tarpon Springs area to Palm Harbor and bringing them to Fifth Avenue South. They was doing. You better that. say it. They was they they were they were six to ten years ahead of us, and we're now seeing the effects of what they knew then. They yeah. made it. They made a conscious investment. To get uncomfortable, to be comfortable for the rest of their life. Now, those houses that they bought for $25,000 and $65,000 and $75,000, $75,000 are now worth hundreds of thousand dollars. Three hundred, three fifty, three hundred. 300 Come on. In the same neighborhoods that we sit around in and we treat like trash. Like Reno said, y'all started saying the hood and you're going to be saying that used to be my hood. Used to be, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's one of the things, Miss Yvonne, is to educate people on home ownership. It's so many rules, laws, loans, uh, down payment assistance. Like I just was talking about the um, where you can get a lot for a dollar and all that stuff. It's stuff that we need to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Us need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stuff out there. It's and, and education and and knowledge is so much power. Mm -hmm. And those of us that 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 have learned it, have have seen it, have experienced it, we're mm -hmm. trying to share it. But everybody's not worried about soaking up because they like what they have. They like how yep. they get it. They like where it is. But we so can't you, pull up a Bentley to a rental anymore. We got to change the way we structure this stuff, myself included. It's a couple of different things I'm trying to orchestrate. I'm working on building a triplex. So it's a couple of different things I'm trying to orchestrate to leave my kids in a better situation. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Multi As we, homes is the way to go. Come on, come on, come on. You you talking right? You talking right? And I'm going to I'm going to link you with a good friend of mine, Zena Rhymes. If you don't already know Zena, um, no, she is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna link you with her. Zena is is a real sweetheart. Uh, she's very business savvy. She does a lot in our community area. She's she's a realtor, but she's so much more. She. Having her as a friend has been beneficial to my life uh, in, in so many, so many ways. I've had her on the show previously. Uh, my cousin, Diamond, uh, Diamond mm -hmm. Brown, I'm pretty sure you, you, you might have come, you know, mm -hmm. come across Diamond. Um, they are all. And, and that's what I like to see is that the people that are building the network in our community, making it stronger. If I know yes. somebody, you know somebody, and, and y'all can cross paths and do certain things. And that's things. what we're supposed to do. Come on, man. Like, it ain't for me to, to get your business card and hold on to your business card until I need it. It's to say, okay, yep. this business card would be a great match. It's just like the matching game we used to play when we was in kindergarten. Flip the card over and be like, this match go with this person. They would be a good connect. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Maybe they'll strengthen together because at the end of the day, if both of you become millionaires or billionaires or trillionaires, now I got two friends that I know for a fact that got a little cash. And maybe if That's I right. get stuck on something, but because I was holding all the information together, wait until whenever it I actually out for need. yourself, the selfish mentality. Definitely can't have that. And I definitely don't. Right. And that's the goal. That's the goal is for us to come together. Like sometimes I'm not the easiest person to work with only because when I have a vision, it's going that way. Mm -hmm. And I don't put nothing out there that I don't think is going to do the right way. Gotcha. So sometimes, you know, people let's partner on this. No, I'm good on that, sis. Because mm -hmm. I know what I want my energy focused towards. Mm -hmm. But if I know this can help this person, let's do it. If I know this person can collaborate with me, on some stuff or I can give advice for what they working on. Like I had a guy ask me, do I want to do elderly transportation? No. <laughs> the liability is too great. Too we have 15 great. passenger vans. I can't get a wheelchair on that van. So right. no, I'm, I'm good. Right. But it would be a whole lot it. of you customization. Your Toyota Prius and do it. And you be successful. But I've already done the research on elderly transportation. Got you. That's it don't it. work for me. I got you. Well, guess what? We've come to that part of the show where we're going to talk about what you got coming up next. So this first one is 
right there. Talk about it. Let me know what's up. Let's talk about this West Shore Mall, April the 16th, 11 a.m. Yes. to 4 p.m. Let's talk about it. That is West Shore Mall. We're in the parking lot of the old Sears. Um, we're doing a free Easter egg hunt. Um, I've partnered with my friend Denise Young with Tucker Construction and Sugar Hill Developers. And they're going to put some real snazzy gifts together for that Easter egg hunt. So we're asking everybody to come out and support. Um, being on mall property is definitely a different experience mm -hmm. because the people come in there to shop. Mm -hmm. So it's more disposable income. So the vendors have an amazing time over there. Um, West Shore, again, as we talk about partnerships, the Rays mm -hmm. linked up with them and made it happen for me. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. So think, how did they get to the mall? Somebody made a phone call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it, it's real, real, real easy to do stuff when you got powers that be standing in your back corner. Exactly. That's exactly. why I'm going like, to see what Will Packard can share. Real Talk Podcast we have 900,000 viewers in no time. <laughs> Hey, listen, I, 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 and I, and I, and I say this humbly. It's definitely not about the numbers; it's about the effectiveness. If I think one we'll have a real big effect, we'll have a big effect. We'll, we'll we'll have a big effect. But as long as one person gains something from seeing you tonight, we won. We won. And I think so because I've seen a couple comments, and I really think so because Absolutely. I'm open. If anybody mm -hmm. want to reach out to me, inbox That's me, it. text me, call That's me, it. call my yeah. 800 number, tell one of the, my reps to get me on the phone or something. I'm Absolutely. definitely, you can find me at the market. Somebody always talking to me at the market. I'm very accessible and whatever yeah. I know, I'll share it. Oh yeah. I plan on being to this event. I plan on, I plan on checking this one out. I haven't been to any other Saturday morning markets. Um, that's cause some most Saturdays is, is, is my time. Saturday to, is Saturday. Saturday is Saturday is my time to recoup, but I seen this one and I'm like, you know what? Let's put this one on the calendar. Gib. Let's, let's, let's take baby girl and let's slide out here and see what, see what it's about and support. You know what I'm saying? Miss yes. Edwards. So, so I plan on being to this one. I don't know what time because you know, I don't know what time we get up on you it. Tap me on my <laughs> shoulder or tell one of my staff where Renee and I, find I got you. you. I got and you. It's, and it's lunch on me when you slide. Hey, that's what's up. I appreciate it. Speaking of lunch, talk about this event. Talk about this one. This was a little further out, but this okay, one right here got them crabs on it. The very next one that's coming to Tropicana. Okay. Um, we did a rain day for the last event because people thought it was going to rain last Saturday. So it's a very ugly day. So I'm doing this one on Sunday. So it's Saturday morning shop does Sunday. It's an mm. R&B vibe all day with a crab fest. So we're going to have a bunch of crab vendors and seafood vendors just having a good old time. Bring your lawn chair for the vibe. Going to have a little live entertainment going on. Mm -hmm. It's a free event, free parking, and it's just a great time. But if you like seafood, especially crab, I want you to come out and support some of those crab guys. So how many crab vendors are going to be there? I think seven so far have registered. Seven crab, di seven different types of crab. And it'll probably get more as we get closer to the date. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. And those crabs, I'd be like, oh, What's my up, bro? God. Yeah. I'd be going yeah. crazy because I love crabs. So let me ask you, since you, all right, let's, let's, this, this might get you in trouble. Who got the best crabs in the city? Everybody keep doing these crab trays. Everybody cooking them. Who got the best crabs in the city to you? Well, I'm going to tell you what it is. I like hot. Spicy. Okay. I'm a spicy person. Okay. So if somebody got more of a garlicky buttery taste, mm -hmm. then that's a different flavor. That ain't going to work for you. So if and also if somebody got a good crab but it's mild, it might be good, but I don't want it. Mm. I want the nose running. <laughs> nose running. <laughs> I like. That. I was just gonna say that you want your nose running. You need tissue, not for the stuff on your fingers. You need yes. the tissue for your nose. That. So <laughs> to say who got the best, I couldn't say, but I could say. 
my judges mm-hmm. voted for Quant Smith at the Crab Cookoff last year. Okay, okay, so Quant Smith Cook-off coming back again, second annual this year. Okay, but last year they voted for Quant Smith. Um, and I had some real crab junkies that was eating them crabs. I'm talking about they eat crabs like twice a week. So mm. they voted for her. And what was crazy was she didn't even want to do it and wind up winning my 250. Wow. Wow. That's big. That's and big. And they loved her crabs. So I personally don't, I don't eat the crabs. I like the sides and I got to have a great spicy sauce as well. So, Please. you know what I'm saying? I don't do the crabs, but give me the potatoes. The broccoli, the eggs, the sauce. Well, you gonna have to come to the crab because that them people gonna have all that stuff. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me check out the date on that. Let me see. Uh, May twenty second, five twenty second. I make sure I ain't preaching alone that Sunday so I can come on pull yeah, up so real you can quick. Slide through. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't tell them. Don't judge me. I might be. You know, what I'm saying that might be one of my Sundays. I'm suited up. Some Sundays I'm slacks and, and a shirt. And, and, a, and a nice brim, and other Sundays I might put the suit on. So you, oh. you know how that go. You know, well, you know. I, listen, how I, I ain't mad. I promise, I'm not. For sure, for sure. Well, listen, it has been my pleasure tonight. Um, to, to I had a good Miss, time. I'm so excited. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I, I am excited for what Miss Edwards is doing. Just as a reminder, on April the 16th, um, she is going to be at West Shore Mall with the Saturday. Uh, yeah, definitely need to boost this flyer, Miss Yvonne. Uh, it's go to her She's page. So I'm pretty I sure. I love her. Yes, she is. Great, sweetheart. Um, go to her page and you'll see this flyer. Share it, share it, share it. Make this event extravagant. Bring the kids out. Bring your neighbors out. Go get that friend that you really ain't seen in a while. Y'all go to this event and, and, and have a great time. Um, and also... Uh, while you're supporting that, I'm going to ask you, Miss Edwards, because yeah. my youth department at the church, they're doing a fundraiser. And in this fundraiser, they're trying to sell hey, wait, donuts. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. there they go. They're trying to sell donuts. Um, so if you at any cost could, you know, help support the young people that we're trying to take our young people on a trip later in the year. And oh, this fundraiser, supporting. this fundraiser is going to definitely help them do it. And um, I know for a fact that some of some of the parents and, and some of our members of the church are watching. Guess what? We want to support our youth, uh, the kingdom kids. They're doing a lot of great things at Kingdom Harvest. So if y'all have the time, y'all get a second. Y'all can pull back on the video, even on the replay. Check Wait, it out. Don't support. take it down. Go put don't, it back up. Hold on. K H O M. Hold on. Z I K I D Z. K H O M. Okay, I'm getting it on there right now. K H O M. This goes to Keisha Blue. It does. It does. That's that's our our youth admin. That's our youth admin. She's she done. She's doing a great job with our youth department over there. Listen. I promise you. Uh, Tell her uh, I just sent 50 bucks. I want some donuts. <laughs> we got you. We'll make sure you get the donuts. I promise. We got you. We got you. We promise we got you. And Ms. Okay. Javon, thank you so much. I know you support the church. And listen, man, at any cost, at any cost in life, we have, we have, we have to learn that it's not about um, how much we can take with us. It's about what we utilize and what we do while we're here. And while yes. we're here, Miss Edwards is trying to better the community. She's helping the community. As you've seen, she just made a donation to the church, to the youth department, and we greatly appreciate you. And we're going to get you your donuts. And okay. anybody else that has something going on, and this is what this is what the Real Talk podcast is that is going on. You can reach me. You can inbox me. You can text me. You can do whatever you know. If you know somebody who's doing something extravagant get in the community just let me know who they are and what they're doing i would love to interview them have them on the show we've had some amazing guests since january yeah. found out some great testimonies listen it's not about me it's not about you it's about somebody who's solidly needing help needing the assistance needing the yeah. faith needing the encouragement let's get them what they need i agree i totally agree for sure. Well, we signing off right now. Miss Edwards, I thank you and appreciate you again. You're and welcome. you will see me on April 16th. I'm going to pull up. Watch me. And I got you. I got you some barbecue. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. I love me some barbecue. I, I love got me you. Some, I got you. All right. We'll see you on the 16th. Okay, Real Talk honey. Podcast. We out of here.